Motorcycles are pretty awesome. Let's see if we can draw them using simple shapes. Drawing a motorcycle can be pretty difficult. There's a lot of objects sticking out, wrapping around, going under. It's mind boggling. But instead of looking for the detailed and the complicated shapes, we need to look for the big and simple shapes. Now, overall, there are three simple shapes that can be used for almost anything. This is a box, a cylinder and a sphere. Now these shapes look a bit like this, but when we are drawing a complicated object like a motorcycle, we will also need to be able to adjust them. So take certain parts out, for example, like you see here at the rectangle, or we'll need to be able to change our cylinder going from small to big. Step number one, finding some reference material. Let's open up the interwebs, Google, motorcycle images and uh, what do we like do we like this one or maybe this one this one looks awesome batman pretty cool what the hell is this crazy okay i think i actually like this one here we have it of course we're not going to be straight copying this image because not cool but we are going to be studying it and then we can draw it from our imagination Step number two. So what do we see over here? First of all, let's start by drawing in a box around it. And across through the middle, because then we can measure a lot more what's happening on the left and on the right side. Now, first of all, what I see is that the highest point of the mirrors, it's very close to the center, but it's more towards the middle, the highest point. Now the wheels, are approximately the same distance from the end. Let's call that X. Another thing I see is that if we take this middle line, that's actually almost the height of this part. So the middle line represents the height of the back. Another thing I see is that the angle of the tank is 45 degrees. The motor block seems very difficult to analyze, but actually, if we make it very simple, it's actually this shape and then some parts are cut off. The exhaust seems to be going on the right side of the motor and comes out of the front. There's one seat. The distance between the front wheel and the motor is almost the same distance as the bottom side of the motor block to the ground. Now another thing we should be mindful of is checking the simple shapes that we see in this motorcycle. Now the most simple shapes I see in this motorcycle are actually this shape. Underneath it's just like a box and then we have a sort of triangle sticking out. And of course we see these spheres or sorry these cylinders at the beginning and at the end with a gap between them. So if I had to draw this very quickly over here, this is the basic shape of our motorcycle. So now that we studied the motorcycle and we know what the basic shapes are, we can work from big to small. And now drawing a motorcycle is easy. No, it's not. All right, it's not easy, but it's a lot easier because having a big shape gives us a head start. We know where to begin. And now we can add and subtract elements from this big shape to eventually come to a motorcycle. Step number three. Instead of drawing the motorcycle straight from the image like we studied, I want to challenge myself a little bit. We're going to change the angle of the motorcycle and apply the things we just studied to our drawing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we did pretty good. So now let's check ourselves. All right, so let's get another colored pen. And there we go. We will also need the reference. Bam! Let's put you over here, Motor. All right, so what are a couple of things that we see that are correct? First of all, the 
the wheels are on the right place. There seems to be, yeah. All right, so the overall shape is working. I also think that the proportions are pretty good. Mirrors are highest point. Now the exhaust isn't at the right spot. It's actually on the other side of the motorcycle. And although I knew this while drawing, I still did it because I just think it's awesome to put an exhaust over there. So it's a thing to be mindful of, but you can decide for yourself to not do it. Another thing I see is that the wheels are actually totally different than how I drew them. So we worked from big to small. We started out with a simple big shape, chiseled away like a sculpture and found our motorcycle. But you can use this method for drawing anything. For example, drawing a truck or a building, a frog, Darth Vader, a tiger, a small dog, a medium dog, a big dog or a face. All right, you get the point. Now, I hope this video was helpful. If so, leave it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Also, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you really want to learn something, then check out my website. There's a lot of videos I have on Gumroad or Skillshare where I really teach something about drawing. But for now, I want to thank you for checking out this video and have a lovely day. Bye bye.